Hello, welcome to Wastelands Raceway. Um, I'm Kinky Weasel. It's been a while since I've done a build video, so I thought I'd uh, best rectify that and get cracking on with another build. Um, this one I'll be using a slightly different material and it's going to be a fairly quick and easy build. I'm not stripping the car down, I haven't stripped it down. I've not done anything with it other than just undercoated it with some, um, some metal primer. Um, this stuff here, it's plastic coat metal primer. I picked it up from a shop somewhere, I can't remember where, but that's all I've done. Just undercoated it in this sort of rusty colour, um, ready to go. What I have done is masked off the wheels because I need the wheels rolling on this car. Now this, this material that I'm using, this new material, this stuff here, it's, um, it's lead tape, self-adhesive lead tape. Um, I think it's for weighting tennis rackets and things to make them heavier, but it works really nicely, I've found, on cars. So. I need to make armour panels. See the window on the back of the car there. I'm going to want to mask that off. So, you've got a piece here. Let's check it for size. That's literally this easy to use. I'll show you. There you go. That's it cut. It's going to cover the back window there, like that, as you can see. So, yeah, I think that's going to work all right. That is going to be the back um, armour plate on the back window. It's lead, it's quite soft. So I'm going to be using just a small engraving tool. And I'm just going to push some rivets, bolts, whatever, into this piece. You go. Literally, it's that easy to use. Um, as I said, the tape, even though it's self-adhesive, it doesn't stick permanently. So what I'm going to do is fix it in place with some super glue. Stuck in place. Simple, easy as that. And actually, if you didn't want to paint it, you don't have to because it, you know, the it looks, it is metal. It looks metallic. It looks quite good actually. I've cut a load of other pieces to size um, in advance to fit, um, and I'll get those glued on, obviously. So there you go. That's all those bits done. It was really easy to cut the pieces. Obviously, they stick on really easy. They they shape really well. And look at that. I mean, that's 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 quite a nice looking front end for that car. I and mean, that's quite a good gas lens piece, I think. Um, now I've cut another piece which I've doubled over and I've shaped in advance. So that's going to be like a bit of a ram that I'm going to stick on the front. So I'm going to use gel super glue. So it's just going to run down the front here. If we can get it come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. I'll see it coming. There you go. I'm just going to run a bead of thicker gel super glue straight down the front. I'm going to be quite generous with it because I want to act as a bit of a gap filler as well. I think. Yeah, that's on there nice and straight. And it's stuck so. You see just a bit of a, a bit of a blade on the front there. And inside here any gaps that there were where it's not quite marrying up properly has been filled with this, the gel super glue. So, uh, yeah, that was a success. The windows are going to need filling. They're going to need armor plating. I think the front, the windows at the front, they're probably okay. There's a small enough gap in there that that's not going to look too dodgy being just black once I've, uh, once I've painted the car. Right, what I'm going to use for the rest, for some of the other parts, is my special magic ingredient. I mean, I've, I've mentioned this in previous videos. But it's aluminium foil. It's the sort of foil that comes out the top of a coffee tin. You pull off tab, come out the top of a coffee jo coffee tin. It is a magic, magic ingredient. So it comes out looking rough like that, rough and ready. What you need to do is just rub it down to get it smooth. I'm using the side of a side of a paintbrush here. But anything sort of flat and smooth, rub it onto a smooth surface, and there you go. I've smoothed it out. It's ready to use. So here we go. I cut myself a piece that's just a little bit bigger than the window I want to cover. And again, another little cheat. One of the beauties of this stuff is if you if you press it on hard enough, not too hard, but you don't need to go too hard with it. It actually gives you an outline of the window itself. So that gives you an idea of what you need to cut, and what angles you need to cut it at. Um, 
So yeah, it's, it's a nice easy thing to use. There's no point in making things difficult for yourselves is if you can make it easy. Yeah, there's the piece that I've cut. It's going to go in the side there on the driver's side. So I'm once again going to do my little rivet trick. So from the reverse this time, all I'm going to do is just press some round dents in from the reverse side. And then when you look at it from the, from the other side, and look at it from the other side, there you go, look, you see? Looks like a piece of riveted metal. So, I managed to do it. Off camera, but I've done it. So there you go, there's the driver's side window with a slot for the driver to see out, because, you know, maybe gas lines, we want to be safe, don't we? I'll do the same on the other side. Or maybe I won't, maybe I'll do something different on the other side. Okay, so what I've done, for the other window, I just cut myself a strip of the foil. Um, it's twice as wide as I want it to be, because I actually want it to be a bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double it over. So there you go. There's the piece doubled over. Do a couple of bars across the side window here. It's just going across. The first one in, I'll just take a second one in and hopefully that will look quite good. Okay, what I've done is I've cut some Little piece, little strips of the the lead tube, lead um, sheet stuck on the front. The idea of being it's supposed to be ratty old pieces of scrap metal, just to protect the front of the car a bit more. And I think that I think that adds to the aesthetic of the car. Personally, I'm quite happy with that. And as you can see, it's nothing particularly complicated or uh, or involved with that at all. Hugely massively armoured vehicle there, ready for combat out in the wastelands. So I guess I need to get it painted next. So the main car is going to be black so I will be black bombing it with a, a rattle can but I'm going to want a red stripe down the middle of the car um, and so before I spray it black I'm going to put some red just down the centre which I can then mask off. First coat of the red there. Um, I'll get it closer, you can see it's, it's not totally opaque. Um, I'm not overly worried necessarily about that because the car's gonna be a ratty looking vehicle anyway, but I do want it slightly redder than that. So we'll come back in a bit once that's dried, put another coat on it, um, and then we'll get it masked and sprayed. Okay, so I'm going to mask off the central stripe now. I don't want to cut myself a piece of masking tape. What I want to do first of all, just stick it down to my work surface and then peel it off a couple of times. It does, that gets rid of most of the tackiness of the, of the masking tape, which means hopefully it won't take the paint off the car. So I'll stick this onto down the center of the car here, make sure it's nice and central. Give the whole car a black spray and then we'll uh, come back once the black paint's dried. Right, so here we are. The black bombing has been done. I think the paint's pretty much dry. So let's, let's get the masking tape off and see if it's worked. Yeah, it's kind of worked on the whole. That's not looking too bad. I mean, that's not the finished article. I'm doing a bit of touching up. Um, you're going to see, look, I did mask off the wheels because I just didn't want the paint getting into the wheels. But as a basic start, that's pretty good, isn't it? The stripe is not completely central, so I'm going to have to, have to straighten that up a bit as well. But I masked off that sort of over excess of black. And I'm just literally just going to... I'm going to paint over where the masking is. There we go. I think that's better. Much better. If I was going for a clean stripe, that wouldn't do. But what I'm going to do now is literally, I'm just going to try and just, just put some dinks and digs in, primarily sort of along the edge. And the idea is that the red paint's been knocked off in places.
So you see, just on the front sort of screen thing there, I think it looks alright. I'll just carry on around the outside and we'll see how it looks at the end. So primarily just the odd dig in from the side, you don't need too much, I mean you can do as much as you like, but I don't think it needs too much. Um, and the odd little scuff, maybe, just going through the inside as well, just to look like damage caused to the paintwork. That works, I don't know, what do you think? Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. There you go, we have a chipped red stripe. I'm now going to paint the the metal armoured plates in. Alright, okay, so in let's go in with the gun metal and uh, paint in some of these armoured panels and see how they look. There you go, I think you get the idea. So yeah, that looks right. I'll get it all finished and we'll come back and do the weathering. So here you got the finished article, or the very nearly finished article. I did notice um, when I did the red stripe that I'd forgot to put the um, the trademark Red Widder's Hourglass design on the roof. So that was fairly easily rectified with some black paint. Um, the rest of the metal I've done in sort of a gunmetal colour um, and some of the chrome bits, the details I've done in a slightly um, brighter colour, I think it was Vallejo Chrome. Um, to be honest, it doesn't really notice, so uh, I'm not sure it's worth the effort. The, um, the rust is a light stippling of this stuff here, which is Green Stuff World um, rust textures. They're very good. Um, they are very, very good. And then I've done a wash of a very thinned down um, mix of this uh, dry rust from War Painter, um, Army Painter War Paints. Um, and yeah, I think the, the overall effect is pretty good. I'm happy with it. So all finished now, apart from this stuff. I've actually made some barbed wire, <laughs> which was quite a finicky job. So what I'm going to do is fit it onto the front of this car and then we'll come back and see what the overall final finished article looks like. And so there we have it, the finally finished car with the uh, barbed wire added onto the front ram, which I think it looks kind of fun, doesn't it? Um, if you're interested in how I made that stuff, then um, drop a comment in the... Uh, comments below and maybe I'll do a quick video just showing how I did it. It's nice and easy, just fiddly. Uh, yeah, so there you have it, um, a Black Widow's car ready to do battle. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It makes a huge difference to small channels like ours. Um, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos we put out. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, please do comment below, let us know what you think. Um, and especially let me know if you fancy seeing a video on how I made that barbed wire. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.